Hi, kindergarten. I hope you had a great week last week. Some of you sent me some incredible drawings of your house. You guys did a really great job with that. This week I have a project that I think you're really gonna like. We're gonna be making a project based on a book or a series of books that I bet you're all familiar with. Pete the Cat. Pete is a big favorite at our house with my kids. So I thought it would be fun for us to learn how to draw Pete the Cat ourselves. So grab yourself a piece of white paper, a pencil, an eraser, markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you want to color with this week, and we'll get started. So here's my drawing of Pete the Cat. It's just Pete with his magic sunglasses. So what we're gonna do to start is we need to hold our paper up and down like an ice cream cone, vertical like an ice cream cone. Not horizontal like a banana split, vertical like an ice cream cone. And the first thing we're gonna start to draw is Pete's sunglasses. And then we're gonna make his head around his sunglasses. So near the top of your paper, not all the way at the top, because we wanna have room for the Pete's ears and the top of his head. But near the top, you're gonna make two ovals on their sides. They don't want to be really, really big. And you want to try and keep them about the same size and the same shape as much as possible. So there's one. Then I'm going to leave some space and draw the second one. So these are actually the insides of his sunglasses. So what we need to do is take our pencil and draw an oval around each of these, and you can see I'm just leaving a little bit of space between them. So this oval is gonna be a little bit bigger than that first one. Same thing on this one. It's an oval again, just a little bit bigger than that first one. Then I need to draw the nose piece for Pete's sunglasses. So I'm gonna make almost like a little frowny face and at the ends of his sunglasses, I'm gonna draw just a little square. And there we have his sunglasses. Now the next part is we wanna draw the top of Pete's head and his ears. So at the end of his sunglasses here, not at the end of that square, right at the end of the sunglasses, I'm gonna draw a straight line up. Not all the way to the top of the paper, and it's pretty tall, but I still have some space. And I'm gonna make that come down almost like a triangle. Notice how I have some space between those two triangles. I'm gonna make almost like a frowny face again, and there's the top of Pete's head. Now for the bottom of Pete's face, where his mouth and nose would be, I'm gonna start at the same spot on my sunglasses. And I'm just gonna draw a little line down. It's not a real long line, it's a pretty short line. On this side, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line in, and on this side, a slightly smaller diagonal line in. So you can see this one's a little bit shorter than this one. That's it, almost it for Pete's head. I just wanna add a little triangular nose. And now for Pete's body, so easy. You're gonna draw a diagonal line down, diagonal line down, and there we have Pete the cat. The only thing we have to do is add some color and his whiskers. I almost forgot his whiskers. So take a black crayon, a black marker, a black colored pencil, whatever you're coloring with. Very carefully trace over all our pencil lines. all of our ovals for his glasses. Pete's nose. Now, before we put the black marker away or go to the background here, I wanna give Pete some whiskers. 
So what I'm going to do is go to the sides of his face and I'm just going to draw one, two, three lines on each side. And now Pete has some whiskers. I'm going to grab my pencil and I want to make it look like Pete's somewhere. So what I'm going to do is just draw him kind of outside. Then draw a straight line behind him, not up at his head, but down a little bit. Some triangles here. I'm gonna give some clouds behind Pete's head. Now you can make Pete wherever you would like. This is just what I'm doing for mine. And I'm gonna take my marker and trace these lines too. And then I'm ready to start coloring. So Pete the Cat's sunglasses, whoops, I forgot one part. With your marker, your crayon, your colored pencil, whatever you were tracing with, make sure, I'm just gonna use a little placemat here. Make sure that you go back in and color that small oval inside his glasses. Because remember, sunglasses usually are pretty dark so that your eyes are protected from the sun. And the same thing goes for Pete's sunglasses. You want to make them dark so use that black crayon or marker or colored pencil color that in then we're ready to start adding color color make sure you stay inside the lines color everything in all the way all right now we're ready for color so pete's Glasses are red, I believe, in the book. So I'm gonna take my red crayon and just color. This is called the frame of his glasses, the outside part. And I'm also gonna color the nose piece there. I'm gonna take um, like a magenta color to color Pete's nose. And I have to find the perfect blue for Pete. See if I can find it. There we go. Color Pete in with blue, because he is the coolest blue cat I've ever seen. Again, make sure that you stay inside the lines, color each space in all the way. And then you can color your background in. Now for the grass, I'm actually gonna use two different greens. And I wanna make sure I find a different blue for the sky because we don't want the sky and peat to be the same color. So for the back here, I'm gonna use a lighter green. And again, you don't have to make the same background I have. Maybe you want Pete the cat to be somewhere else. I'd love to see where you send Pete the cat or what adventures he goes on at your house. A 
And then I'm gonna take a darker green for this bottom part here. And then all that's left to color is the sky. And so I have a different blue than Pete. And I'm going to carefully color that in. I'm going to make sure that I don't put any blue in my clouds. Now, Mrs. Parsons is going pretty quick with my coloring. It's probably gonna take you a little bit longer. We're gonna need to be a little bit more careful than I am. Because remember, I have a lot more practice than you do. But I bet a lot of you have been doing a lot of coloring and things while we've been at home. So there is my Pete the Cat. Hope you had fun with Pete too this week. I hope you had fun with our Pete the Cat this week and maybe even drew a couple different Pete the Cats with some different sunglasses or maybe some different backgrounds. Maybe you even read all your Pete the Cat books. Either way, I hope you had fun with it. If mom and dad could send me an email of your Pete the Cat, I would love to see it. I hope you have fun. Next week, I'll be back with our last art project of the year. I can't believe you guys are almost ready to be first graders. It's been, I've loved having you this year, and I can't wait to see you next year. Have a great week, boys and girls.